Hi, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to schedule events with your calendar to make it more efficient and to save you time when you're trying to schedule uh, different meetings with staff members. So go ahead and pick a day that you might want to schedule a meeting on. I'm going to label it. This is going to be a test meeting. I'm going to invite my guests. I'm going to invite Rick, Eric, Mark, Elson. Now I'm not exactly sure if they're available on this day and uh, usually most people will just send out emails and you'll go back and forth. It might take three or four days for everyone to respond back to find the common day that everyone's available. Well there's an easier way to do that. There's a tab over here that says find a time. So I click on find a time and I can start to view everyone's calendars and see when we have a common time that we're all available to meet. So this is saving a ton of time of me sending out emails or sending out a doodle to figure out when we can meet. Um, if nothing works on this day, I can switch through different days up here easily. I can go over here and see the whole week view all at once to try to find a common time. Once I find a time that looks like it works for everyone, I just go ahead and click on that and it puts the time in and the day in for me. I can go back to event details and now a lot of times for meetings I have an agenda or I have an important document that I want people to have access to at that meeting. And usually I, you send it to them in an email, they're looking to find it when they get to the meeting, they're having trouble finding that document. But right here I can add an attachment right into the calendar invite. It'll access my drive, I'll find the attachment that I want everyone to have. And I can insert that. Now I can just tell them when they get to the meeting, go to your calendar and bring up the agenda, bring up that document I want everyone to look at. It's in a spot that's easy to find. They don't have to search through their drive. They can just click right on the document and there it is.